Hey, it's Heidi from A Lively Hope, back with another video in our Watercolor Fun for Beginners series. Today you're going to need two sizes of bowls and a pencil, plus of course your watercolors and paintbrushes and water. So we're going to trace around the bigger bowl. First, we're making um, one side of butterfly wings. So this is going to be the bigger wing. We want the round shape to be the top of the wing, but wings aren't circular, so we make that extend out a little bit. You'll see a little bit more when I work on that. So we're tracing the smaller bowl to be the lower wing, and then you'll just kind of need to work on this little section to see what you want it to look like. I decided I didn't like it slanting down like that, and so I'm gonna make it a little bit more rounded but you can do that however you feel like your butterfly wings should look. So once we've got those circle parts in place, then we're going to start drawing some details for our wings. You've probably noticed that butterfly wings have different sections of color on them. Sometimes they have circles out toward the edge. Um, sometimes they have kind of interesting triangle or rectangle type shapes. So I'm just going to work on dividing my butterfly wing into different shapes. So here I'm using a crescent shape filled with circle shapes on both the top wing and the lower wing. My wings are pretty big, so the bottom is kind of extending off of the page, but I am okay with that. If you want to have the whole wing on the page, you'll need to use a smaller bowl or a thing to trace. So then I'm just kind of making up some different sections to fill with color. And then once we're done with that, I'm gonna get my black, watercolor paint, which we don't use very often, and go over the top of all these lines. And I'm using a smaller paintbrush to do this. So I'm just using black directly and going right over the top. I'll speed this up so you can watch as I do that. I chose not to let my butterfly wing dry 
before I add the color into the sections because I wanted it to create kind of a bleeding effect of the black pigment bleeding into the sections to make it look maybe a little bit more realistic because butterfly wings have, you know, scales on them. And so that the bleeding effect could add some pretty cool texture to our butterfly. Of course, you could definitely wait for the black section to dry before you start adding paint into it. And I am also going to go a little bit over the top into the black section to make it so that it bleeds a little bit on purpose. Again, totally up to you and what you want to do for your painting. I am choosing to use only warm colors in my butterfly painting, but you could of course choose to use whatever colors you want. So remember warm colors are reds, oranges, yellows, things like that. And then cool colors are purples, blues, greens. So I'm using warm colors. You can choose whatever colors you want to use. So I'll finish this up and then it's your turn. I can't wait to see what you make. Happy painting.